right, it's finally here. The package with the Zayun Crane V2 arrived today and I'm really excited about it. I usually don't do these kind of unboxing videos, but like I said, I was really excited about this gimbal. So I thought, why not? So let's uh, get it out of the box, shall we? tutorial here because uh, that would take a little too long. It's not that hard actually but for the first time it might uh, take a while and you can find quite a few good balancing tutorials here on uh, YouTube. But basically it's not that hard. You have these three axes. The first one is here as you can see. It's up and down. The second one is here and the third one is down here at the handle and with the screws you can move it here back and forwards you can put the camera down here and can adjust it you got this slide down here you can move it also back and forwards and you got this one here you can move it from left to right and when you are done you should uh, be able to put the camera in every angle and it stays that way. You can put it to the other side, you can put it down and it always should stay. It doesn't really do it now. I still have to adjust some of these parts here. I think I'm going to do that now and in the meantime we're going to take a look at the buttons we have here at uh, the handle. Okay, this button is for um for external control of the camera you can actually attach a cable to it and then you can turn it on and off here the camera you don't even have to touch it anymore here is the power button if you press it long then this uh, light will blink and the gimbal will engage here you can change the mods I will uh, tell you in a few seconds what kind of mods there are for this gimbal and here's a joystick you can move it up, you can move it down, you can move it to the left and to the right and depending on how much pressure you put on this joystick um, the movement of the gimbal of the camera is either slower or faster. Okay, I'd say uh, we turn it on and I'll talk a little bit about the three different mods this gimbal has. As you can see I managed to um balance the gimbal correctly now, so if I put this camera in a position like that, it will stay that way. If I put it in a position like that, it will stay that way. So that's perfectly balanced and uh, now let's turn it on. So now the gimbal is engaged. As soon as you turn the gimbal on, it will uh, go into the follow mode. That means the camera will follow your movements. As you can see, when I turn the gimbal, the camera follows. If I push that button one more time, it will go into the lock mode. That means the camera stays locked. You can turn the handle and it will stay in that one position. Okay, and there is a third mod, that's the selfie mod. If you push the mode button three times, it will turn around into the selfie mod. That's really cool and I think uh, it's very helpful for vlogging. As you can see, you can just hold the camera and everything. It's perfect. And if you want to continue filming, you will push the button again three times and it turns around. What I also would like to add, before balancing uh, the gimbal and the camera, you should add a microphone if you want to use a microphone. 
and if you work with the flip out screen you should put it out or flip it out before you start balancing it. Every little bit, even the lens cover can throw it off balance. Okay, I'd say uh, we go outside now and check yeah, check how it is to film with that thing and make maybe a little comparison to how it was before filming handheld or with the Google Apple. So far, it's small. It looks a little bit more like um, a fancy selfie stick. It's not too big. It fits easily in every uh, backpack, and I think you could clearly see the difference between the gimbal footage and the footage uh, handheld or with the Gorilla Pod. So, if you are vlogging like me, I think a gimbal like that is really a good addition to uh, to the vlog. You um, you can add much more variety to your b-roll footage. Before I always felt a little bit limited. I couldn't really make footage while walking or something because it was always a little shaky. And yeah, I think the gimbal will change that and I'm already excited to, uh, to give it a try. Mm -hmm. 